such a nice car, don't you think? As you guys saw, this is a wonderful piece of E46 330 petrol engine and this is such a nice car, it looks, looks really amazing, it sounds amazing and it even goes amazing like this but it uh, brakes amazing too but uh, unfortunately it's not an m3 so you can drive it around the track and around the corners as this car should be driven what is the key point that differs this car except for the power of course from the e46 m3 and the way of driving those two cars this is the limited slip differential that is the key point this car does not have limited slip diff it doesn't have it from the factory as m3 had so today we are shooting this video to show you guys how to upgrade the drivetrain how to install lsd unit from e36 or e30 so the previous factory lsd units in such a car to transform it to go like e46 m3 so stay tuned Many of you guys are familiar with our progressive LSD conversion kit as a sort of solution for BMW non-M models. But I promise you today video is not about it. It's not about LSD conversion kit. As we are fighters against exclusivity and expensive stuff, we at Racing Deals decided to make a proper tutorial step-by-step -step how to video, how to install E36 LSD unit into E46. So let's now go to the garage and make what we have prepared as a topic for this video. Hope you guys will like it, write us comment and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to support our community. Enjoy! Moving on the procedure, we are going to show you how to swap medium case LSD from older BMW models like E36 or E30 into E46 medium case div housing. This time we won't be showing you how to rebuild or upgrade the LSD unit itself as we already have a video on this topic. The procedure is rather easy and it contains only 5 steps. First you need to remove an open diff from the housing and remove the side bearings. They are tremendously expensive so try to keep them untouched as you will be using them further. The first but the hardest way is with a hammer. Second one is with a bearing puller. And the easiest way but the most expensive is to buy the new bearings. Throw the open diff in the garbage. Use brake cleaner to clean the inside area of the housing. Protect the pinion well from the dust as now comes grinding. Mark the housing with a spray using pattern which you got from our swap set. Green size of the housing until you lose the marks. Wash everything really well again with the brake cleaner and dry it with air. Press inside bearings you removed from the open diff on LSD unit. Test fit the unit inside and adjust the carrier preload. The best way to do that is without the crown gear. When the unit is inside, return the bearing cones and fix them with C clips. Remember to keep bearings and cones paired as they were before you remove them from the open diff. Put one flange and measure torque resistance using torque wrench and racing this flange adapter. You should aim between 0.5 Nm and 1 Nm. If you have more than one, then put thinner C-clip from the racing diff swap set. And if you have less than 0.5, you need to put a thicker ship. When you reach the satisfying value, measure the thickness of both C-clips together and write down the sum. This sum is very important and shouldn't be changed. Mount the crown gear with the spacer from the racing diff swap set. Titan bolts to 150 Nm and a 3 locker is recommended. Mm -hmm. 
now put the diff inside. Time to do some backlash adjustments. First measure backlash. You should aim from 0.06 to 0.1 mm. If you have less than 0.06, that means your carrier unit is moved too much towards the pinion and you need to move it away from it. How to do that? Put a thinner C-clip on the left side and a thicker C-clip on the right side. If you have more than 0.1, then your unit is too much on the left. To move it towards the pinion, use thinner C-clip on the right side and a thicker C-clip on the left side. It is really important to keep the sum of the thicknesses unchanged. What it means exactly? If you are using 0.1 mm thinner C-clip on the one side, you have to use 0.1 mm thicker C-clip on the other side. When you reach the satisfying point, check the gear patch with the marking compound. If your patch is more on the inner half of the tooth, increase the backlash slightly. If it's towards the outer half, then decrease the backlash. Play with that until you get the patch aligned on the center of the tooth. When you're done, don't forget to put the oil seals. At the very end, you need to machine the C-clip grooves on the E46 flanges. This animation shows you right measurements. Or you can position the groove exactly the same as on the older type of flange. It is important to make radial groove. If you make straight cut groove, flanges will probably snap under the load. When you're done, don't forget to fill the oil in. Racing Diffs recommends Model Gear Competition 75W140 and you need two bottles. Put the diff on the flat surface and fill it until it starts to leak from the upper hole. As you saw, procedure wasn't so complicated. But believe me, if you don't have guidance like this, it is very complicated. Therefore, we are happy to share this info with you guys. There are a couple of swap kits available on our website depending on the gear ratio. You have all explained in the description section on the website. It includes crown gear spacer, C-clip set for backlash adjustments, side oil seals and the greeting pattern. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to write us an email. Of course, you already know that we have an upgrade clutch packs for LSD unit itself available on our website as well. Hope you guys enjoyed as much as we did while making this video for you. Spread the word and info to other fellow tuners by sharing this video. Subscribe for more useful content. Oh, I almost forgot. It is time to test this bad boy. I'm out.